American journalist and author Franklin Foer once said, and I quote, The biggest problem is that Facebook and Google are these giant feedback loops that give people what they want to hear. And when you use them in a world where your biases are being constantly confirmed, you become susceptible to fake news and propaganda. Thanks for joining me once again on Facts here on Radio 1, 103.5 FM. Facts addresses misinformation and myths on trending issues being spread in the public space. I'm Loretta Konuga, producing is Olainka Abodering. Oh, well, there have been quite some incredible claims trending, and we'll start with this one from the Central Bank of Nigeria. It says, press release from the Central Bank of Nigeria on the use of foreign currencies is from 2015, not 2024. Effort to strengthen the Naira. A post on X, formerly Twitter, includes a press release by the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, and praises the bank's effort to strengthen the country's currency. The post, the post dated 4th February 2024, reads, and I quote, Thank you at Sendbank for this directive. Imagine there is a Nigerian private university operating in Nigerian markets owned by a Nigerian collecting school fees and ancillaries in dollars, many other domestic companies transacting in forex, end of quote. The press release reminds Nigerians about the CBN Act of 2007, which said that only Naira issued by the bank was the legal tender in Nigeria. The press release then calls on those using foreign currencies to go back to the Naira. The press release also states that people who contravene the provision are guilty of an offence and shall be liable on conviction to a prescribed fine or six months imprisonment. On the 9th of February 2024, Yemi Kadosu, the newly appointed CBN governor and the Nigerian Senate, met to discuss the state of the economy and the sharp decline the Naira had experienced in the previous months. Kadosu has made various efforts to strengthen the Naira. On the 17th of January, the Apex Bank of the country said it had paid around 2 billion US dollars to settle the backlog of unpaid foreign currency liabilities in several industries, including manufacturing, aviation and petroleum. Misinformation about CBN efforts to strengthen the Naira has been rife. Africa Check recently debunked claims that $30 billion in domiciliary accounts will be converted into Naira. The press release found on X is being shared online as proof of further efforts by the CBN to boost the Naira. We found similar posts on Facebook here and here. Instagram posts have also posted the press release here and here. But the question is, is this all accurate? Trust us, we checked. This is found to be misleading. Africa Check found the official press release on the CBN website published on the 4th of July 2015. The press release was signed by Ibrahim Muazu, at the time the director of corporate communications for the bank. But Muazu moved from corporate communications to strategy management in 2016 and in 2024 we would expect a press release to be signed by the new director of communications. A press release issued by the bank on the 3rd of February 2024 is signed by the acting director of the corporate communications department, C.D. Ali Hakama, who was appointed on the 1st of December 2023. In 2015, the bank also had another governor, Godwin Emifile, who served from 2014 to 2023 until Kadosho's appointment. An injunction made under the previous governor can't be attributed to Kadushu. By fact-checking and verifying misleading information about Nigeria's currency policy, Africa Check hopes to prevent the spread of false or misleading narratives that may cause confusion or harm.
Hear this. Nigerians, beware of Facebook accounts using the name of International Breweries PLC to scam you. The Facebook account Princess Adobe has repeatedly invited its 1,400 friends to double their money through the International Breweries Investment Platform. I'll quote the posts. You will get double of the amount you paid to invest as interest granted from the company in three hours straight into your bank account to help Nigerian citizens eradicate poverty privilegedly, agreed and signed by Peter Obi, provided in the registration given to you on WhatsApp by his admin. End of quotes. Now, that post, as you may have deduced, was poorly written and dated 19th January 2024. The post encourages interested users to send a message via WhatsApp link provided. It also features a photo of Peter Obi, the Labour Party's presidential candidate in Nigeria's 2023 general election, who appears to be encouraging users to invest in the platform. Some of the posts also feature a video of Obi seemingly endorsing the platform. But can they be trusted? We checked. This is found to be a scam. We contacted the Princess Adobe account via WhatsApp, but the name registered to the account was Pastor Oluwafemi Emmanuel, not Princess Adobe or International Breweries Investment Platform. This was a red flag. During our conversation, the account promised to double any amount of money we invested within 45 minutes. This, another red flag. By including the video and photo of Obi, the Facebook posts implied that he had endorsed the investment platform. But we found that the video was a clip from a longer video of Obi speaking at the Lagos Business School Alumni Conference in November 2022. In the original video, Obi was defending the Anambra State Government investment in International Breweries PLC, made while he was the governor of the state. This was in response to the criticism by the current governor of Anambra State, Professor Chukuma Suludo, that the current value of the investment was worth next to nothing. The name International Breweries Investment Platform appears to have been deliberately chosen to mislead unsuspecting users into thinking they were dealing with International Breweries PLC or a company affiliated with it, as the two names are almost identical. International Breweries PLC produces alcoholic and other beverages that are distributed throughout Nigeria. You're still tuned to your favorite program, Facts, on Radio 1, 103.5 FM. Facts is a program packaged to address misinformation and myths and other trending issues being spread in the public space. This program is in collaboration with Africa Check. This one says, no, disease X doesn't exist, and World Economic Forum didn't admit it will be unleashed in 2025. WEF admits disease X will be unleashed in 2025, reads the headline of identical articles circulating on social media in Kenya, South Africa, Uganda and elsewhere since January 2024. The World Economic Forum or WEF is an organization that encourages governments and the private sector to cooperate on important global issues. It is often the target of false conspiracy theories. The article was published on the 23rd of January by the People's Voice. The website, previously known as News Punch, is widely known to spread false information. The piece has since been republished on several other websites and blogs. Its blob reads, and I quote, The World Economic Forum, WEF, has declared that disease X will be unleashed onto the public by the year 2025 and the consequences will be devastating for humanity. End of quote. 
It echoes the thoroughly debunked pandemic conspiracy theory that the global COVID outbreak was secretly planned by global elites that included drug companies, Bill Gates and the World Health Organization. But disease X doesn't exist. And WEF didn't admit that it will be unleashed in 2025. So this is found to be false. Disease X is a placeholder name for a possible unknown disease that may break out unexpectedly. It's used in discussions about whether the world is prepared for another global pandemic and ways to reduce the harm of such an outbreak. The name was first coined in the World Health Organization 2018 review of diseases in urgent need of research and development known as the R&D Blueprint. The blueprint aims to reduce the time between when a serious disease is declared a public health emergency and when diagnostic tests, vaccines and other treatments become available. It came out of the 2014 Ebola outbreak that killed more than 11,000 people in West Africa and spread to a few cases in the United States and Europe. The 2018 R&D blueprint lists eight diseases in urgent need of accelerated research and development. Seven are existing diseases such as Ebola, Zika, and Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, SARS. The eighth is the unknown disease X, which represents the awareness that a serious international epidemic could be caused by a pathogen currently not recognized to cause human disease. Disease X doesn't exist. And once a previously unknown disease becomes known, it will be given its own name. On the 17th of January 2024, the WEF's annual meeting in Davos, Switzerland, held a session titled Preparing for Disease X. Participants included WHO Director General Tedros Ghebreyesus. Its description reads, and I quote, with the World Health Organization continuing to research the potential of so-called disease X, what novel efforts are needed to prepare healthcare systems for the multiple challenges ahead? At no point in the session did any of the speakers admit that disease X would be unleashed in 2025. So, the claim is false. So this is where we have to stop for today on Facts here on Radio 1, 103.5 FM. Do join us again on Thursday on our breakfast show on health for another exposition on these claims. For suggestions and feedback, please contact the producer on 0813-654-1763. 1763 this program from Radio 1, 103.5 FM, was put together in collaboration with Africa Check. Many thanks to our sound engineer, Shegun Adeduro, on behalf of the executive producer, Koride Ogumbumi, and my producer, Olainka Aboderi. I am Loretta Konuga. Do stay safe.